Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we talk about five important points about arrays that all of us should know. So what are the advantages of arrays? What are the disadvantages of arrays? And uh, five points that we have to know about arrays. And let's get started. Now, let's see this. The first point about arrays is that arrays are collection of similar data types. So what, is it, what does it mean by that is, let's go to Eclipse IDE. And here, when I declare an array, I'm declaring an array of integers. And here, if I put 90.5f, indicating that I want to store float value, I cannot store it. So arrays can store only the similar data type. If I mention this as array of integers, I can only store integers in this. Now, when I move the mouse on this, you can see here, it's giving an error saying like it's not an integer. So arrays are collection of similar data types. So next. So if I declare as float, let's take I'm writing float. Data is equal to new float of. Now this is a floating point array. Now I'll write here 6.5 f and 8.2 f. And I'll write here 11.5 f. And I'll write here, uh, let's take I'm writing here ABC. I'm trying to put a string there. Now I'll get an error. So when I declare a floating point array, I can only store float values. I cannot store a string here because it's it's a different data type. So that's the first point about arrays. Arrays are a collection of similar data types. So, so that's the first point. Hope we are clear with that. Now, array size is fixed. Now, what does it mean by array size is fixed? Now let's take I declared an array here. So what is the size of this array? Now let me remove this here. I'll put here 90. Now, if, I, if someone asks you, what is the size of this array that we declared here? The size of the array is one, two, three, four, five. So array size is five, but if, as the, if someone asks index, the last index is four. But what is the size of the array? It's five. Now, when I try to assign scores of, let's take I want to store the next value. So scores of five is equal to 20. Now, I'm trying to increase the size of the array to one more value. So scores of five means it's of uh, scores of zero, scores of one, scores of two, scores of three, scores of four. And I'm trying to add one more value here, but I cannot do that because the size of this array is five. I can only store five values. I cannot store the sixth value here. So when I run the code, I'll get an error saying like index out of range error. So you can see I got an error, array index out of bounds because this index, if I put here four, it'll agree now. If I put four here, it'll it'll change the value of this 100 to 20. So now I don't get any error. So now if I get this, I don't get any error. It is done. So, so what does it mean by that is array size is fixed. You cannot increase the size of the array dynamically. So that's one disadvantage. Anyway, let's go back and let's see the third point. The first point is array is collection of similar data types. Array size is fixed. You cannot dynamically increase the size of the array. And second one, third one is arrays require sequential memory. What does it mean? Let's try to understand. Now, now let's go to MS Paint now, and let's assume that I declared an array like this. Int of data is equal to new int of 10. Now, so this, when I declare like this, this, in, this data can store how many values? 10 integers starting from 0 to 9, array index 0 to array index 9. So 10 integers it can store, and in Java, each integer takes 4 bytes. So total how many bytes it'll take? 10 into 4, 40 bytes it'll take. So this, this data takes 40 bytes. What does it mean? Let's take I declare int, int p is equal to 10. Now this p will take 4 bytes because it's a single integer. If I write short, q is equal to 5. Now 4, this q will take 2 bytes because it's a short. Now, this one is integer of, this is an array of 10 integers, so this will take 40 bytes. Similarly, if I declare, let's take I'm declaring short of, short of scores is equal to new short of four. Now, I'm declaring short data type, array of four numbers, so this scores will take, each short data type will take two bytes, so four into two, eight bytes. This will take eight bytes of memory. Now, with that introduction, with that knowledge, what we'll do now is let's come back here. Now, let's assume that my computer has got a memory like this. 
So what is this? Let's assume that my computer is having memory like this. So here, let's assume that each cell is four bytes. I repeat. Now, let me put this line. Okay, now let's assume that this is my computer memory. Now, just for understanding purpose, each cell is four bytes. Let's assume that each cell is four bytes. Now, if I tell each cell is four bytes, means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, forty. So, so four. Each cell is four bytes. So here we have eight, eight into five, forty into four, one sixty bytes we have. So the total memory is each cell is four bytes. Four into eight into five, which is equal to one twenty. Is that right? Yeah. 160, sorry guys. Yeah, basic stuff we are storming. Yeah, it's it's 160. Let me put it here, 160. Now that means my computer memory is 160 bytes. And this requires how much? This data requires this data requires only 40. So and where it will be stored? It will be stored in the continuous memory location. So it will be stored here. Uh, let me put some other color just to indicate uh, this. If all this is free space, it'll be stored here. One, two, each cell is four bytes, right? So data will be taking 10 bytes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So remaining free space is there. Now, what if in our computer we don't have continuous free space? Now, what if my computer is occupied? This is occupied from by some variables. This is occupied by some variables. Now. Now this is occupied by some variables. Now, now how many bytes are there? So we have uh, we have how many bytes free space? So 160 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4 is a 20. So we have 140 bytes free memory. Now this is having 140 bytes as free memory. Now even though I have 140 bytes of free memory, I cannot store this data here because this arrays require sequential memory. I don't have sequential memory. I don't have sequential memory of, of uh, sequential memory of 40 bytes. Even though I have 140 bytes of free space, because I don't have a sequential memory, I cannot store this array. So that's one drawback about arrays. Arrays require sequential memory. Arrays require sequential memory. And that's where in college days you would have heard about data structures where data structures store uh, value here and next value will store somewhere here, next value will store somewhere here, next value will store somewhere here. And how do you navigate that is? This will store the address of next element. This will store the address of next element, address of next element. Anyway, let's not worry about that. For now, what you need to understand is arrays require sequential memory. Even if you have more space without sequential memory, you cannot store it. Now, let me quickly say this. Arrays are collection of similar data types. It cannot store data types of different data types. Array size is fixed. You cannot increase the size dynamically. And arrays require sequential memory. In the memory location, it requires a sequential memory. And array index starts from zero. Array index starts from zero. We have already learned it in the previous module. And the last point that you have to know is the size of variable. Size of array variable is equal to data type size into array size. Now, now this is self-explanatory. Let's try to explain this. Now, if someone asks you what is the size of this variable, how many bytes it will take? Size of this array variable is how many bytes it will take? What is the data type size? Data type is integer. Data type size is 4 into what is array size? 10. So now this data will take 40 bytes. So now similarly, if I write here short, of scores is equal to new shot of 8. Now let's take if someone asks you what is the size of this uh, scores variable? What is the size of this variable scores? Size of the variable scores is data type size of shot is 2 bytes into what is array size 8. So this variable will take 16 bytes. So that's how so that's the fifth point. Now let me quickly summarize. Arrays are collection of similar data types. You cannot store different uh, data types in a single array. Array size is fixed. You cannot increase the size dynamically. 
arrays require sequential memory in the memory location. So even if you have memory like this, since you don't have sequential memory, you cannot store it. But anyway, nowadays we have uh, computers with uh, one TB, two TB space. So memory is not at all a um, bother, uh, need not worry. And array index starts from zero. Size of the array variable equal to data type size into array size. Okay. So I hope you are clear with uh, the five points about arrays that all of you should know. And also I hope you are clear with how to write a simple program using arrays, how to declare and initialize an array, and how do you read the values from the user and store in array? All of you are clear. Okay, so that's all for now. See you in the next module. Thank you.